Hello there, one more quick video on Hitachi storage. In this video, we are going to take a look how to monitor storage performance in Hitachi storage navigator console. You can monitor live performances or historical graphs up to 24 hours. If you need anything beyond that, you need to configure Hitachi tuning manager, which is a license based tool. But for now, let's move to the demonstration in storage navigator. As usual, I have logged into the Hitachi device manager storage navigator console. In the console, you need to click on analytics performance monitor. And then you need to make sure the monitoring switch is enabled. If it is not enabled, you need to click on edit monitoring switch. The second button on the top of the screen and you can enable it. Then you might need to wait for 24 hours to get historical data or you can do the live monitoring after a few minutes also. For my case, I have already enabled it. Now let's check the performance by clicking on monitor performance button. Once you click on the monitor performance, the new wizard is gonna come to you and click on OK for that warning. And very honestly, this is an old video. I'm just doing the voiceover now and you can specify your range up to 24 hours max. So I'm setting the proper range which I need. And you can also click on the real time, the second radio button over there to get the real time. And first I'll check the controller usage rate. I'll be clicking on all the MPUs or microprocessor units which are part of the controller. Click on apply. The monitoring graph window is going to come to you. Yeah, here is the window. And if you hover your mouse on the graph, you'll be getting all the detailed percentage and all of those things, times. And you can edit the time range, add more graphs or anything like that delete graph so i'll be just closing it and i'll be going to monitor performance once again this time i'll be taking something else click on ok set the time range as per your desired if you want to check the historical for up to 24 hours but you can also go for the real time this time i'll be taking the cache and i'll be checking the write pending date which is very crucial for your storage performance i'm checking for all the cache units Click on apply. As you see, it's almost near around 1%, which is very good for the storage. The lesser the number, better the performance because no data is waiting for in the cache. You can also click on the add graph and select any other parameter for that matter. For example, if I want to check the fiber ports or FC port, throughputs, data transfer, response time, anything like that. So I'll be checking the data transfer rate for any two specific ports for this example. I have clicked on add, click on OK. The graph is going to change in few seconds. And as you see, there is a little bit of transfer. It is showing in the graph. So you can close this. And that's about it basically. How to check your storage performance. Thanks for watching. See you in next videos.